Yeah, the British are around, but it's just to bully Castile, and I can totally get behind that. But my war with Castile starts in a year. Can't forget that, although I probably will. The truce with uh, France is almost up as well, though I should worry about that considerably. But all this fighting might make it harder to get a good headway on Mallorca. Right, well, we'll have our troops in position over here for that. I can have one more month of reinforcement on you. And we, we reinforce quite well right now, so it's okay. France claiming my land, so they're definitely out to get me. And that loss actually put me in uh, quite a bad position for the Mainz coalition war. Mainz brought in a fair few. It's not that bad. The Danish one is far worse. Jake, does Russia like you? Russia's doing all right, but I really don't think they like, they don't know anything about my aggressive expansion. I know I got French or Greek or what have you diplomats, but we'll make do. We'll get these folks together and march on in under the divine leadership of Miao, of course. Ah, they're running away. I should take advantage of that. If they're out of there on the bulk of them are out of there on the 11th of June, so I should arrive there. Oh, 10th all works out fine for me. There we go, got a fuller front line. Not as many cannons as I would like, but cannons are expensive. And there we go, now I should ram raid them because they're on a retreat path and try to mop up the war score that I can for this, even though they're Brandenburgian. Mm, they want to reinforce that, that's their funeral. Oh, crumbs. Papal State and all them joining in for another one. Oh, we can handle it. Hell, I can more than handle it. The aggressive expansion looks bad, but it's only looking bad. Look, some nice people like Hess only have 17 aggressive expansion with me. But it's going to go up again when I murder Castile, and I will murder Castile. Let's do some mopping up here. Preferably before the turn of the month, but no. Okay, sweet. Shadow's finished. Um, but I think he should probably do some other jobs as well. There's plenty of... Co oh, nice! We've, we've explored the whole random new world. Please show us where the development is. There must be some out here. Yes, I know the development, but there we go. Oh, God. It's all terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bad in the random uh, random new ocean. That's grim. That is very grim. Oh well, can't win them all. And I especially can't seem to win this one. Knock them all dead, keep on moving, and then we're going to take on Barba Watsits. Let's have full strength where we can. Damn, I was hoping to fight them in my own mountains. Ah, well, how fortuitous. I will fight them in my own mountains. Get that war score. Ah, oh, it's looking very good for war score in the Danish war. Aragon, Siena, Venice. Means Ven um, Castile ain't far away. And whilst Aragon's always fun to fight, I'll leave him be for now. What I'm saying with all this is come and have a go when it comes to warfare. Wow, total wipe on the... Uh, total wipe on the Danes. are running out of manpower, says Brelix. Aye. It's, uh, it's difficult times for us, but we will persevere and we will succeed and survive. You have 40,000 manpower. You don't have to be so conservative. Just let them reinforce. I do, but it's 40,000 out of 70,000. Could always have more. Mmm, this is a bit of a problem. The Danes are down in my, uh, my golden province. The gold is too good, I need to protect it better, but I seldom do. That said, they're sitting there like uh, some kind of sitting duck. Right, move on in. We have reinforcements on the way. If they reinforce, that's all the all the finer for me to chew them up with. Yeah, they want to. They really want to. 
the Danes have shown how well they can fight. So 40 war score, I can get a little bit more from battles. Ah, but their occupation of Wolof. Yeah, Wolof's very existence is costing me pretty dearly here. It's tempting just to say no to Yolof as a subject anymore, so I don't have them costing me war score like that. But uh, the question is, who would want me to lose Yolof? Because really, I'm, I'm not picky here. Let's release nation. Here's cancel subject. I want a hefty truce to the Danes, though. The Danes keep bringing so much to the party, and they have a lot of uh, aggressive expansion with me. You can just have your fleet hunt in the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, that's probably a better idea, but I like having them free to do stuff. Tell you what, I can get rid of these. Uh, no leader, though, and that's a bit concerning. Well, you know what? Just hunt enemy fleets anyway in the North Atlantic. You find something, you kill them, and I feel happy about it. Trade advisor's dead. Oh dear, truce with France is over. Maybe, just maybe, fighting Majorca is a great idea. France is too risky. It's a great idea to not get involved there. Right, let's have you ready to rock and roll on that one. We jump onto Majorca, we score these. Uh, but that means you would it's better for you to stay here so you can ensure that we take all of this in no time. You're very good at uh, getting us the siege stuff too. Hell, let's just declare war so we don't have to worry about anything else happening here. We're taking Menorca. France joins in, France gets sunk. There we go. As expected. The power that this guy has at uh, blockading uh, ports is just magical. So what's it going to be? Meow is overqualified for the job. Shitatsu show, run them down. At some point, the French may learn to stop building flagships. It'd be good for them. Yeah, <clears throat> France and the coalition is just too terrifying. It was a great idea to uh, to attack Menorca instead. Colonial range is nice. Diplo rep is nice. Both are nice. I'll take um, Diplo at this point. Surprisingly well hold, held out here, but I didn't barrage it, and nor do I particularly want to. I'm not going to get a ton of war score here. Oh, Shitatsu Show tragically died. Meanwhile, I could tragically get Miltech 14 and Tech t 11. Stops the unbalanced research. At least there's that going for it. But I don't have the institution. We haven't checked out how the institutions are spreading. Uh, taken a while to get to me, that much is for sure, but it will get to me. If only somebody would offer knowledge sharing or the like. Still, that extra colonial name, colonial range, I'm all for it. The ability to shoot people harder, ah, oh, it's too expensive. And it's not that important. Okay, it's good, but not enough for me to pay that much for. I saw a French fleet I want dead. It's not the best fleet I've ever seen, and I don't have Shadow, and they have a... Okay, maybe, maybe I can let them be. Not looking for losses that heavy. Who are the great powers now comes in the question. Ottoman's still number one. I'm not far behind them at number two. Then France, Russia, Denmark, GB, Bohemia, and Mamluks. We've done very well for getting uh, as far as we have in the great power list. Next, taking this so long.
Okay, this is actually working against me because they can go here instead of here. The rule is they go here and they have to go towards a fort, so they have their choice between hills and mountains. As they would say in Stronghold, over hill and dale. Uh, French ideas is a question being asked. Economic, defensive, and exploration. Not happy about the exploration part. There's a long way to go to find anything out in this barren new world. Okay, this is all fun and all, but uh, Menorca should be falling pretty fast. <laughs> Siena, Venice, and Genoa. You know, why have two coalition wars when you can have four plus extra? It's incredible what you can do when you don't care about aggressive expansion. Yeah, but I mean, whilst I could continue to grow, notice that my economy is not quite as good as I tend to have at this stage. So I can't really grow the way I want to. Okay, they are they are taking the mick here. Could you please take Menorca? Actually, why am I even caring that much about it? What I should do is leave behind 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Get the red. Ah, damn, I want Meow there, though. Five will suffice. Ugh. How, how did I manage to mess that up again? Meow takes a five. The rest get out of here. Hello, France. Could you kindly get away from there? It's not where your heavies are, so it should be fine. Oh yeah, the lack of blockade really uh, impacted on that. Well, that being the case, just get over here. We'll take it now, and then get on the boat, and then get fresh off the boat. Onwards, protect our land. We have a lot to protect here. So, with the war against Menorca, right, they don't really want peace immediately because uh, the length of war has a huge modifier, as does relative strength. However, it will definitely help in getting them out of this. Well, help me getting them out of this. The question is where to start. I don't want my mountain fort to fall, but those French are all around me there. Let's go on the aggress here. France do not have Tech 14, thankfully. Ideas, Diplo Relations, Colonist, it's just admin, and I'm not spending tons of admin right now. We'll make it so. Soon we'll get our fort defense, cheaper forts against France, that's nice. And goods pro Oh, cheaper forts against France. That includes you! Your maintenance is only 0.92, because I pay half. I can get it even cheaper. That's because of you, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice! Slaughter the buggers. Oh, Friesland took down Futa Yelong. Which war are they in? Because they're now going to move in on my... Yeah, the Danish war. Falling of Futa Yelong actually impacted me there quite badly, and they'll take the gold, which definitely impacts me badly. Frankfurt and Lorraine, are either of them part of your thing? Can't even get the white piece on them, which is uh, disappointing. Ah, but perhaps I want Yolof gone, right? That'll make it happen. I'm sick and tired of Yolof, they're only costing me here. So if I get rid of them, then we're all the better. Very clever. Not quite the piece I wanted, I wanted to get something bigger and better. Um, I forget, who was the war leader in that uh, that war? If it was Denmark, then I just made a big mistake there. A huge mistake. Denmark, it bollocks. I should have uh, pushed for 50 war score and taken all his money. Well, that's a shame, but I did what I did. My desire for saving my money cost me a whole lot more money than that. Well... It's funny, that's just how life goes some days. This border fort's in 90% graveyards now, it's all part of it. Okay, we have managed to ship off a whole lot of Portuguese from this place, and I feel so good about that. Uh, let's get some more of this, because it's going to make it cheaper to send these people away. Unfortunately, it's very dangerous to ship people away from here now, because if it gets occupied, it's a uh, good night to that. But, we have ourselves a colonial nation. Chat, give us a name. Because we need a name for it. Hang on, one, two, three, four. Ah, uh, is this part of it? That is part of it. Oh well, good for them. 
There were some good suggestions before. Hopefully people can uh, still have those in mind. <laughs> I think Mistake is a very good name, says Plo. Hmm. There's a lot of awful names, especially Richard Flukes with Dickland. Why would you do that? Hmm. Now, considering what we're doing here, I think Exile Island has a certain ring to it. Get out of my country. Right, that's one war down. We'll get rid of this war soon enough. Uh, it's really just about ticking at this point. But the French are still a sizable threat against me. I don't like this. I don't like this part at all. Okay, let's just go for it. Okay, they've already ran away. Poor buggers. Can certainly bring the fight to the French here. And I don't want them taking that fort for free. I will demolish this fort, actually. It's doing me some, uh, well, the opposite of favours. Okay, you explored a whole bunch of land here. And again, the development is just outright... Oh, well, eight there. Ooh, 10, 11. Right, we've set our sights on the land that we want. We've got to get ourselves down here. Um, question is, who are we going to ship off next? Who is even fitting to, f to ship off next? We're working on here. I want to ship off high development. Um, yeah, high development. Some of it's higher than others, surely enough. This one's getting there. But it's the Iberians that we're getting rid of around here. High development and defended. So whilst this province is fairly high development, it's not particularly well defended. People can just land on it and have their filthy way with us. Al Adna unlocks us for quite a bit of this. Al Adna then. Al Adna's gonna be a trailblazer down here. Where was that 10 development province? Was that as good as it gets? 11. Uh, this is this is half decent, this is. It's just a little too far away. I disagree. Send the Portuguese there from Al Adna. Uh, oh, Aladna has separatism. How could I forget? <laughs> it's tempting to do you, but uh, it's, it's not the right time for that. Alright. Shativa. Shativa is... No. There are better things. Basically, I want to spread it so I have more adjacencies with Andalusian. That's the madness. Ah, well, how... Uh... Oh, no, again. Separatism coming out of the wahoo. Well, it doesn't have separatism as the stuff I took here. And if I send them away from my gold province, I'll feel pretty good about it. And feeling good is pretty good. All right, Shativa it is. Send away the Catalans, Shativa. Which means I should have some troops over there as well. I have the transports right here, so let's just grab a couple of musketeers and send them on their way. Oh, I was already building one here. Oh no, that's Exile Island that's doing it. Fair play to them. Let's discover these coastlines as well. Or better yet, discover the English ones so it's easier for us to butcher them in a follow-up war that I'm sure is going to happen because they're English and war is what English do. I mean, sure, it's Great Britain, but it was formed by England, so I have no problem getting that wrong. 
This will be bad for me if they get in and get that on time. Super bad, super bad. Made it. Now we just need to kill the French. It's simple, really. And away they go. What happens when your empire rank? These people will still be accepted. Will that mean the end of expulsion? I hope not. Pretty sure we can expel them still. Although it would be very interesting if we could not. I would not have anticipated that. Still want that French fleet dead. I want it very dead. Um, they have quite the fleet. There we go. These battles have really uh, turned things in my favour against Majorca. And I can kind of sit on them for a while as long as my good friend France doesn't encroach too much upon me. Also, Castilian War. Uh, why have I not started it already? Naples won't join in. Who cares about the Knights? Yeah, they are going to have to go down. What's their best province? It's all hot garbage, right? But, uh... Asteras it is. Move us towards legalism, you say? Why, that sounds like buckets of ducats. Except, you know, my corruption's so high that it's actually working as intended there. I'm not terribly scared of the Castilians here. We should just march in and take it. Uh, I seem to have lost a general of mine, though, so we're going to roll one more. Uh, remember when Elghorn ran the uh, ran the country? He saw us through our best times ever. Also our worst times ever. How does he fare as a general? The answer is really quite mediocrely, but that's all we need here. Damn, I was meant to tear down that fort. Menace. Kill them. Even though we don't need the prestige, just kill them. Expertly done as usual. Ah, they, they still have their fort on Lyon, of course, don't they? Hmm. Then perhaps it's better to wrap up the French war before we go all in. That said, the longer I just sit on them, the better deal I can get. Depends what I want out of them. Right, Shadow, you're back, but you haven't told me everything I need to know about the British. Tell me about the banks before your deed. Now, the question is what I want from them. I can't annex them this e easily, and having them allied to France like this is actually a big boon for me. So a white piece isn't all that shabby. I'd rather get something nicer, but, uh, you know, to elongate the truce. But the most important thing is that I keep France on a fairly... Oh man, so many people are going to get even more aggressive expansion with me. It's so, alright, we can hold out. I have faith in me, at least. But yeah, the important thing is to get France off my blooming back here. Next month that should be okay, and then we can roll in and smoke Castile. And he's going to get smoked. There she goes, and there she blows. I mean, what, what am I going to do? Take a little bit of money off of you? Again, I could take some French stuff, but it's just not appealing to me unless I... Oh! Counter thought! I... Don't have to do it now, but I take land from France and I give it to a subject who's on scootage so they never join in wars with me. Then they don't cost me anything. That is fairly delightful and devilish. Still, we'll just have a paltry peace offer from you right now to get France off of my back. Whilst I enjoy all these other people that are fighting me right now. Not nearly as thick as the older Coalition Wars. I truly think we've seen the worst of it. But maybe I'm being hopeful. The Ottomans are loving this though. Europe just can't put up a combined uh, force against them. So the Ottomans just get to run uh, 
Run riot. Yeah, as long as you take Leon, we're good. Excellent. Our air will make our colonies grow even faster. Speaking of which, I want that extra colonist, but it's a bit of admin away. I still focus on admin, but the more we can get these uh, these guys out of our country, the better. Just blow this down faster. There's no point in uh, holding out here. Yeah, they got this. Just do it like that. survive that. Not at all. Right, finally, let's get rid of this troublesome fort. I want everybody over in that uh, that mountain. Is there cap? Where is their capital, actually? Ah, okay. Thought it might have moved somewhere uh, exciting, but no. Speaking of exciting, I don't mind too much if Rusalon falls because it still has Warsha protecting everything. Well, bollocks, I did not, for the life of me, expect the Genoese to appear overseas. And the, uh, the Venetians, that's pretty bad for my subject nation. And I suppose pretty bad for me. Genoese, who are they with? Yeah, they're in the Sienese War. Hmm. Yeah, those Italians can get around. Exile Island will never hold on against the... Wasn't I hiring units here? Yeah, I must have. But now my transports are just uh, idly flinging around. Damn shame. Alright, you did your exploration. I wish to know more about it. Basically, I want to no longer need an explorer, so we can just have all that done and dusted. And Leon is holding out like a crivens. The Castilian. Are they still enjoying their civil war? Anything to tell me that they are or aren't, but that's a lot of pretending. They need to drop the act and stop pretending. Ah, face it, you're dead. Get out of there. You know, none of this would have happened if I'd blocked this with my boats. But I don't really have the spare boats to just uh, prevent people from crossing here. Still, I could at least make the effort from now. Mm, that's pretty bad. I don't think my 6,000 are going to deal with their 7,000. But it is in a mountainous fort, but Venice will probably help them out as well. And then that does not look good for me at all. Right, Leon is down. Excellent. If I take down Canterbury as well, it's all good. Mountainous fort is holding well. Oh, Jesus Christ, more of them. I'm going to be so happy when Castile does not exist around here anymore. If I'm here, it's going to speed up this uh, this fort being taken considerably. 